Hey guys, so I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial on the D7000, the Nikon D7000. I had a um, subscriber ask me if the Nikon D7000 had 6.9 ratio on it. Now, in the in the photo mode, of course. Um, now, the camera doesn't actually have a setting for this, but on the grid, it does have little pointers, if you can see them right here, here, and here, and here, that show that that's the 6.9 ratio, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, when I turn it, the info button on to the video setting, to where I see the video information, you can actually see the little crop marks where it will only film when you're filming in 1080p. So make sure your camera is set to 1080p, okay, um, for a resolution for video, and you should get these crop marks that show the 16.9 ratio, okay? So you can actually use this to crop your photo in live view, I believe, um, and inside your viewfinder, it won't show this for the video function, but it will show it for the photo part and on your grid inside your viewfinder. Inside your viewfinder. So you just want to make sure that you have your, your camera set up to 1080p um, at the, it doesn't matter how many frames per second, but, and I believe it's only 30 frames. I haven't looked at it in a while, but make sure it is set to 1080p so you can get these crop marks in there um it, it is a very interesting question because i have looked online and people have said no it doesn't have a mode and technically it doesn't but it does have the indicators when you're shooting on video um you can use that um now if you are doing that make sure you just are on this Settings where it shows the time of the video. It shows 1080p right here. 20. Oh, it says 24 frames per second. Um, and yeah, that that's basically it. So then, when you hit the info button, you should see those indicator marks on your screen, right in the sides of the screen. Every time you hit info, even on your grid, it should show those marks, except for this one screen, which has all the photo editing. Um, not photo editing, but the photo settings. So there's a little tip right there. Um, those are the markers. Uh, that would be it. That's your framing grid for if you want to um, make sure that your photos are within that frame. Now, when you are shooting the picture, it actually will not crop it. So you have to do that within Photoshop or whatever, whatever um, photo editing software you are using. But in camera, or not in camera, but when you're shooting pictures, you'll be able to see that frame. So then you can actually frame your composition accordingly. So it won't actually create the image as a raw file that way, but it will give you an idea of what you're looking for when you're taking a picture. So that I hope I hope that helps um, my subscriber out. I, I really do. I hope that kind of pinpoints um, what you're asking and uh, kind of your um, hopefully answers your your question with everything because uh, yeah, it, it's a very interesting question and uh, I thought it, I hope hopefully that helps. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Just a little quick tutorial on this camera so then you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. Take care. Bye.